the Brotherhood travels through thick snow. They decide to shelter for the night at an abandoned village, but the Hound thinks it is unsafe. Beric dismisses the Hound's unease and orders that they set up camp for the night. The men enter a hut, where they discover the corpses of the farmer and his daughter Sally, whom the Hound and Arya had encountered two years prior, following the Red Wedding. It appears that the father killed his daughter and himself so that they would not starve to death. In private, the Hound recalls seeing Beric at the tournament at King's Landing. Beric confides that he does not know what our law, the Lord of Light, is telling him. The Hound remarks that he does not believe in divine justice, citing the fate of the father and his daughter and that Beric should be dead in their places. While making their way north, Beric, Sandor and Thoros are captured by Tormund and the wildlings manning Eastwatch by the sea south of the wall. The three are brought to Eastwatch where they are incarcerated in the ice cells until they are accosted by Jon, along with Jorah Mormont and Gendry. Despite initial distrust, particularly on Gendry's part, since Beric and Thoros sold him to Melisandre, Jon decides that they are on the same side, and he releases them. Beric, Thoros and Sandor join Jon, Gendry, Jorah and Tormund on their quest north of the Wall to help Jon capture a white to bring to Cersei as proof of the threat the army of the dead pose. While traveling beyond the Wall, Beric and Jon have a conversation. Beric claims that Jon does not look much like his father, which takes Jon by surprise. Beric reveals that it was Eddard who sent him and Thoros to hunt the mountain. Revealing that he heard from Tormund that Melisandre brought Jon back from the dead, Beric tells Jon that Thoros brought him back six times by now. Beric claims that both of them serve the Lord of Light. Jon replies that he serves the North and that the Lord of Light never spoke to him. When Jon claims that he does not know what the Lord of Light wants of him, Beric replies that the Lord wants both of them alive so that they can fight for life itself. Beric states that death is the enemy and that, although the enemy always wins, they still need to fight him. When a snowstorm sets in, the group is suddenly ambushed by a white polar bear. Beric and Thoros ignite their swords to fend off the undead beast and although the team is able to defeat the beast in combined effort, Thoros is mauled and gravely wounded by the bear. After the bear has been destroyed, Beric stops Thoros's bleeding by cauterizing the wound with his flaming sword. Further north, the group eventually encounters a white walker accompanied by a small group of whites. The team ambushes the walker and the whites and after John kills the walker, all but one white smash to the ground motionless. The team captures the white but they are soon forced to flee when the full force of the undead army comes down onto them. They flee to an island on top of a frozen lake, which grants them temporary safety as the whites break through the ice and are unable to cross. Surrounded by whites, the group is forced to wait out the night in the cold. As John has sent Gendry back to Eastwatch to send a letter to Daenerys, Daenerys is the group's last hope to flee the north alive. An entire night passes and the next morning, the group realizes that Thoros has frozen to death. Mourning his deceased friend, Beric says a prayer for Thoros before he ignites his corpse with his sword so that he cannot reanimate as a white. After burning Thoros, Beric joins Jorah and Jon who are discussing that Daenerys is their only hope. Beric claims that there is another and points at the Night King, who is watching the trapped group from a nearby hill. Beric states that the Night King is the one who turned them all and thus, killing the Night King would annihilate the army of the dead in one swift stroke. Beric tells Jon that this might be the purpose the Lord of Light has for them, as he hardly brought them back only to watch them freeze. Sandor then chips in, reminding Beric that he lost his priest and is thus on his, last life. Eventually, the water freezes again and the whites advance onto the island. The group prepares for their last stand and Beric once more ignites his sword, killing many whites. When it comes to battle, the sheer masses of the advancing undead force the group further back onto the island. When all hope seems lost, Daenerys suddenly sweeps in with her three dragons Drogon, Viserion and Rhaegal. While the younger two dragons annihilate the advancing undead, Daenerys lands Drogon on the island so that the men can climb up onto the dragon. All but Jon, who is still fending off whites, make it onto the dragon where they witness the Night King hurling an ice spear at the flying Viserion, impaling him through the neck and causing the dying dragon to fall onto the ground, break through the ice and sink to the ground at the lake. All on board the dragon, Beric included, watch in awe and horror. As the Night King is already preparing another projectile, Drogon is forced to set off and the group, except for Jon, fly back to the wall. 
Having returned to Eastwatch safely, Beric, Tormund and Sandor deliver the white. After having hurled the white into the boat, Beric and Sandor split up as their travel together has come to an end. Beric claims that they will meet again, to which Sandor replies that he, fucking hope not. While most of the group make their way down south to meet Cersei, Beric remains at Eastwatch together with Tormund and his wildlings. While both men stand on top of the wall facing north, they suddenly witness the arrival of the White Walkers and the Army of the Dead. While they are watching in awe, the Night King suddenly comes swooping in on top of the reanimated Viserion. Viserion blasts blue fire at the wall, causing outer shells to crack off. Beric and Tormund run to escape while Viserion continuously breathes fire onto the wall, eventually bringing down a large part of it and allowing the dead to enter the Seven Kingdoms.